There's a little light in there. Why is there a light in there? Okay. I'm being watched, people. I'm being watched, by the way. They have been dri driving by three, four times. This here is Jason, there is Ilona as well. We're going out, we're heading out again. We're having a very late start of the day. Oh, it's sunny today. We're having a very light, late start of the day because uh, I have been editing in the morning and we just took it very easy. But we're gonna do something nice now, right? And uh, Ilona's gonna carry him because there were people at the entrance and they were talking very, for a very long time with us because we have a very cute baby that's all fine, of course. <laughs> But on the left hand, 10 plus kilos is getting really heavy. Oh, and I need to open the car now. You're a big boy. Huh? You're a very big boy. Oh. If you might be wondering, by the way, why Jason is weirdly like pushing his jaw a little bit forward somehow, it's because his teeth come through and he does with his tongue all the time, like mm, inside his mouth. So it does now like. Do your teeth hurt, huh? Yes, Papa, they are super annoying. They're annoying? Okay. Yes, they're just like you, Papa. We love Papa. Jason, no, when you we grow love the up, camera. when you grow up, you'll see how much, how bad Mama is treating your Papa. <laughs> He's really sticking his lower you. lip out. <laughs> Get inside. This harbor parking lot has basically turned right now into our basic parking lot as yeah. well, right? Every time we park here, because it's so nice and central, you have plus the beautiful view always. And it's always a good measurement as well of how cold it now actually is, because even though that sun is out and in the shadow or uh, in the shadow and out of the wind, it's still nice with a little breeze. No, no belly. Yeah, Ilona is like super proud that she's fitting her old jeans also. So not no. No, your old sweater also. Ilona no, tried some old no. hot pants yes. actually. Let me remind you of a thing that my dad said before Jason was born, when we said to my parents that Ilona was pregnant. Listen to what he said. Yes, I just got new hot pants and new trousers for the summer. How am I gonna wear them? <laughs> <laughs> Never again. <laughs> what do you have to say to my dad right now? Ha! Ha! Fooled you. Because? Fit them. You fit them, huh? Yeah, we tested it today, or you show? tested it today. I was not. Even though I like hot pants, I'm not gonna wear them myself. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, we are going to go to a store to change something. Woo! Because this boy is big. But not yet 86. So we bought a bag that was a little bit too big, right? Let's forget. Let's not forget the bag. We're not sponsored by Orchestra, we just get there a lot of times right now. Like I said, it's a little deceiving, the sun, because it's actually kind of chilly still. These things, these things are they're sleeping bags pretty much like they're closed on the bottom as you can see and they have a, you just wear them and because this mister kicks so much he kicks off his, his blankets all the time huh mister yeah, yeah. mister blanket kicker so we bought one and it was 80 something or whatever and this one is now we need 70 but we're gonna see if we can get something else as well because uh, he needs to sleep a little bit better because lately he has not been sleeping that well and we got a very nice hat as you could see the one that we just showed you that's one that we got we saw it and we just were like we have to get it because we got advice not to wear the sunglasses too much huh yeah Ilona's hiding behind Jason We've learned that when kids, when we wear sunglasses, we hold them in front of our face and we see through them. It's not a problem. We focus behind it and our eyes already have like fully grown, you know, as an adult. And also as like when you're 10 years old or five years old, they have learned how to like focus far and close. 
but babies do not. So when you have a baby wear sunglasses before one year old, for a longer time, they start focusing on the inside of the glasses and it's very dangerous because that can make them have a very bad vision in the future. It can be, it's possible, but we've just learned that. They don't have it. They don't have the other size. You don't want to get a 70? That's small. Uh, it fits him, I mean. Come on, baby. He's 72, 72, 74. No. Yeah, I look at No. You're not buying anything small. Yeah, I see. What did you get at uh, State Coffee? Empty cup. No, what did you get? Lila Paul's chocolate. Lila Paul's chocolate. And it was how long ago? Less than five minutes to be honest. <laughs> yeah, you already finished it, huh? We're walking at the end of other end of Edmund pretty much and I got a coffee as well, but my coffee is not that tasty. We never go to State usually, but we're going to show you something that is new in Volus and we take, talked about it recently in a vlog actually. It was kind of fun that we talked about uh, a very expensive statue and now we're gonna check how the statue is actually being published or opened it's already there yeah we're gonna show you yes we were talking <laughs> yes we were talking about a freaking roundabout right on the middle of that roundabout is a statue and it's the statue of the Argo because of course you have the story of the Argo which is the story of Jason that went to Georgia and all that kind of stuff so it's a nice mythology story and you should definitely read into it but that was here in Volos in that time Yolkos right? Yolkos it was called back then and now they decided to build a well this was already here the parking lot but they redid it and now they put a very I have to say it's beautiful though I'll just let them let the shots talk again, okay? What do you think of it? It's I know nice. he's sleeping. I should I should lower my voice a little bit, but he does he not does wake up. Wake up, up in the fire. <laughs> yeah, there was a fire truck as you can see that came by here, and literally it was so loud. But yeah, so we have uh, our new face of the city when you enter the city. There are more roundabouts that they made. The other one, like we said the other time, also in Abria. Crazy guy that was working circles here. Yeah, there was a guy, by the way, that oh, like yeah. ran circles shut around up. the roundabout. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Let me talk. He asked me why is this circle for? Why this circle? This yeah, this is there's fake grass and real and, grass. And I told him that it is for the Christmas tree for uh, Christmas. And he was like, oh, there's gonna be a Christmas tree. Oh yeah, the big one. But isn't it gonna be an issue with the Christmas lights and the water next to it? <sighs> there is so much like electricity also going on because as I can see right now, there are so many cables underneath here to keep it all green. All these grass things are still meant to stay, stay green. There are some awesome aerial shots and I probably put some into the vlog if I've actually found out that I can use them. Because sometimes I just like to take them in all honesty because hey, why not? But the statue, okay, in my all honesty, if it's really 24,000 for a statue, I think it's overpriced because we have a very nice bronze one standing that I showed you in the beginning of this vlog. 
but in general like the roundabout having it here it's a good phase for tourism it's a good phase for like time for for volos actually it's a good thing for Bells. Well, yeah, it's also a good thing, of course, for our mayor to get more votes in his. Uh, because right now they're they're also picking mayors again, right? Like, yeah, yes. They have elections. Elections they have right now. So this is a big election thing, also. The only thing that I don't like about this roundabout is that they have the uh, Avasi Pezon, which literally means that you as a pedestrian can walk as much as you want. But most Greeks don't know that. And most older Greeks don't understand how much... Yeah, Volos, exactly. Most older Greeks don't understand how, how a, a roundabout works. I'm being watched, people. I'm being watched, by the way. They have been dri driving by three, four times. The last time when I was parked in the harbor, I'm keeping an eye on them a little bit. These guys behind me, <laughs> they spotted me. And they've been parked behind me since until I left, so... Why would a foreigner be parked for half an hour in the harbor in one spot with a camera? Making pictures of the Limarchi, Limane, whatever, Limani police. Our police, yes, let's cross. So, yeah, in my opinion, big yes to the roundabout, big yes to the entire situation. But, second step is this building here because that's pretty much the entire face of Volos with the harbor, of course. You have this entire beautiful harbor and then you put that building there that's not maintained. So, someone should have a kick under his butt for this building not just the people that work up there. There's a company, Host Chef. Maybe you want, you want to sponsor my website, Host Chefs? Eh? I want to throw away my cup, but... There's a little light in there. Why is there a light in there? Okay. That's weird. If all, that's a little scary. Is there a bomb in there? I wanted to say very loudly in the parking garage but he's already awake so I can actually do it in the parking garage <laughs> I don't know you Ilona hates it when I do that Ilona literally, literally hates it when I do it in the parking garage and there's a lot of people around and now we are at Jumbo yeah, we're Mr. is awake good. and as you can see it's Easter almost Easter always nice at those uh, Instagram filters these are all Instagram filters. <laughs> I'm a kid, let me. So cool. Hello? Coming. Yeah, mom. <laughs> So Jason here likes to hit stuff, right? You like to hammer on the table and all that kind of stuff. So I thought, why not buy him something to hammer on? Now a drum set is a little bit too big for him. It is early. It is early. Yeah, I know, but this is good. It says from 12 months and plus. Okay, you're halfway yeah. there, dude, so. This also 12 plus, so this is? That's so annoying is that they have these. for your better service. See, this is a little bit for like older kids, in all honesty. This is for older kids. This is for Jason. Dear customers, for your better service, check out counter number six is open. We survived again. They're already closed. <laughs> it's after nine right now and it's sold out. But and we bought more than necessary again. We just needed two things and we bought more. Oh, oh Jason, don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> Did you eat your sleeve, dude, while you were in the store? He was sleeping first, huh? Yeah. Very well. Oh, we were in manual focus. Okay. Sorry if some things were not focused. We didn't see it. And now we're going home, Jason, and you're going to eat boob. Ow. <laughs> I did not have that on film, I'm afraid. <laughs> you let him bounce your head. <laughs> <sighs> we're going to go home. Yes. Jason, are you back in your spot? Huh? Is Mama making more mess actually around here? No, I'm cleaning up stuff. Because there was a bomb giveaway. that exploded in the bedroom and now there's a bomb exploding in the living room I as well. I have to give away everything. Everything? No, 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 no. Wait. I'm not going anywhere. I'm sitting on the floor. This was a skirt I used to wear. Yeah, it's a curtain. What? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I, I this, loved it. I loved it. This, can we pop up a picture? Can you send me a picture so we can put yeah. it in the vlog? So uh, this, right here next to Ilona, as you can see, that's how Ilona was looking with that uh, dress. Now you have to stand up, skirt. actually. Yeah, skirt, yeah. sorry. This can wrap... This is as Jason. 
You can put it around Jason's waist and it's exactly the same. Now, this is how much I have to go. Ilona wants to get back into that dress. Because I will. Yeah? Yep. What? I don't have a belly. No, but you have a baby boy. Look at that beautiful baby boy who's not focused, but it's okay. Not? Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> I wanted to say something and I forgot. Of course you forgot, you see me. We have been spotted at the roundabout. If you know me and you see me, by the way, just always say hi. Just shout out the window. Volos vibes, Marta. Something like that. You're Greek. I mean, most of you are Greek, by the way. So just if you see me, say hi. You know, I prefer that hi. to hear later that someone spotted me and then I hear from someone else that they spotted me at the roundabout and like, oh, yeah, well, hi. <laughs> Five minutes, ten. I need to do some more uh, editing foot thing, actually. So words, sometimes when I'm talking too fast in the vlog, I noticed that I like I can fit this? or when I'm being interrupted by a stupid question of can I fit this try it on then you know if you can fit it so, oh yeah those are the hot pants that Ilona was trying on and she can still fit them those actually were the ones that my dad said that you cannot what never again I okay want to try it on. Yeah, you can try it on but I'm not gonna show it now in the vlog anyway like I said I sometimes don't, cannot get out of my words or like cannot say words I don't know why but it just happens anyway I hope you like this vlog because I have to do work she says again I'm stupid that's not true look Ilona can still fit them <laughs> those kind of moments make life fun I just wanted to say thanks for watching this vlog that's the, in the end that's literally what I want to say thanks for watching this vlog if you liked it don't forget to hit that thumbs up button leave a comment down below because I love to read them and we always reply we thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one and bye